Hey everyone, and welcome to Parasite Eve. This is Doom Crab, and uh, this is actually like my section, my second recording of this game because, as it turns out, I'm an idiot and I forgot to turn on the um, the um, output in um, OBS. So what ended up happening was none of my microphone audio recorded for the last. Um, playthrough, so I've got to do it again. Anyway, this is Parasite Eve. Um, for those of you who haven't played it, it's a game where um, mitochondria takes over the world and you are the um, only girl bad enough to stop it. Oh, and I'm having the same problem I did last time where I totally forgot to uh, use the menu in order to keep that cutscene from restarting again. <clears throat> All right. So, like I said, uh, hopefully my audio is being recorded on its own um, audio track. Um, so let's get started. All right. What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit fatigued from my last playthrough. So this is A. F. Bray, the uh, main protagonist of Parasite Eve. Um, we can change her name here, just like in any uh, Square Enix game. Um, but I think I'm just going to leave it as Aya, so it should be fine. All right. I don't know, I just... You're right. I'll try to have more fun. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? I even had my dad get the best seats for us tonight. So lighten up. We're going to have a great time. You'll see. Come on, we better go inside. So we're going to talk to this guy. Please take your seats. The show's about to start. And this guy's like, enjoy the show. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, like I said, I'm going to have a little bit of fatigue because I played this earlier and it's kind of obnoxious to have to play it twice. Um, but I'll get through it. Let's get to our seats. They've already started the first act. Already? Father, please give me permission to marry Eva! Or Eva? Eva. Eva. I forbid it! 
You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one who has suffered after all the deaths. She is evil. God, grab her and burn her at the stake. Father! If you are sentencing her to death, then I ask that you take my life along with hers. Edward. Oh, opera scene. Gotta stop. Gotta stop my microphone. All right, I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce that. <laughs> Jesus, I don't wanna, uh, oh my God, I don't want, I, I. Go, get out of here, now! <laughs> I, I love that part. It's really, really, it's like my favorite part of Aya. She just, she doesn't give a fuck. <sighs> All right, so let's go up here and meet with our star, Melissa, and see what's going on with her. Freeze! NYPD! Hmm. You're the only one who seems to be fine. What? You should be awakening soon. What? What are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. They're calling out. Okay. So this is the uh, real-time sort of, I guess, like, real-time turn-based strategy system. It's not really, like, turn-based at all. In fact, ha um... ha 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 ha. I apologize for my laugh, by the way. It's not going to work out very well throughout this entire Let's Play. Oh. What's happening? My body, it's getting hot. Just as I thought. What is this? What did you do to me? Okay, so we just got to dodge this. And let's see. Oh, okay. I don't believe we have any of our abilities yet. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, we, we only have one. We have the heal ability, which we don't need. We don't need to use it. We've got low, you get plenty of medication during this um, sequence, so it should be fine. Let's see here. Our 
bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you'll become like me. Power? What power? What are you? Eve. Eve? I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me well. I should probably mention that I'm probably going to be changing the pronunciation of um, Aya multiple times throughout this, like, let's play, because I have no fucking clue how it's actually pronounced. What? What is this? What was that? <laughs> oh my god, that was a bad laugh. <sighs> I'm sorry. W wait! Where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. Thank God we don't have the audio interruptions we had last time where it was, like, in the background. You could actually very clearly hear the office playing. Um, <laughs> that was bad. So, um, here's how they do the inventory system in, in this game. Um, they kind of have a little bit... Of, there's a lot of similarities with, like, um, Earthbound, right? So you have, like, a limited amount of um, space where you can store things. We only have, like, ten... Um, areas that where you can like keep things in i think there are upgrades later on i could be wrong um but i'm pretty sure that 10 is like the limit so um how they mediate this and you'll you'll see this later is that these these boxes will play a huge role in it and also um there'll be an inventory system later or i mean like a storage system later where you can like keep a bunch of items um but here's the hole where um eva traveled down I know she's down there. Sounds like my backup's arrived. Sorry about that. I was looking at my uh, phone. So we gotta jump down. And we come face to gate face with a little girl. Are you alone? It's dangerous here. You should go. Girl, it couldn't be. All right, so we're going to travel down here. So you can tactically not jump down here and meet with the police, but it's not really worth your time because all there are the dialogue. Um, there's like a dialogue sequence where you like talk with them. And they're like, you need to go after her. So I'm not even going to bother with it. Um, so all these doors are going to be locked. I believe it's actually like only a handful of them at the ending. There's about like 10 doors here and uh, we don't really have to worry about very many of them. I think it's like three are the only ones that are like unlocked. Oh, time to mute. So this is the first standard enemy in the game. Um, I don't know if they give it a name because I didn't look at the manual, but I just called it the bad rat, so... Uh, basically, it's just a mutant rat. Um, it, there's not really anything exciting about it. There's, um, It's got like a flame attack with its tail that it can do, and you'll see it later on, but... Um, that one was pretty easy, so we're not even going to really bother with them.
Jesus! What did Eve do with to that lat rat? What is going on here? Uh, okay, sorry. I have a little bit of like um, I'm a little bit sick, so there's a little bit of buildup in the back of my throat, so it uh, makes some things like hard to. Sometimes it's hard to hard talk. <coughs> oh. So we enter this room, and there are two dead bodies in here. We can't really observe them at all, but we can go back here and play around with the lockers. Um, if you look at the side of the screen, I don't know if you noticed this, but there's a uh, mirror here. It's not really anything important, but I like this little effect. Um, and a lot of older games, they would have something like this, or they would have, like, um, I guess that mirroring effect. Uh, I think it's literally just a mirroring effect. Um... But it was probably a little bit harder to pull off with other things where you had to actually, like, double the um, rendering power to get that working. But here, they only have to uh, use A as model because everything is pre-rendered. So it's kind of a cool technique they use to get that to work. All right, so we check all the lockers. Oh, medicine. We're going to be finding a lot of those in this level. Ooh, a body. <laughs> uh, uh. You're still alive? Hold on, let me call the paramedics. M Melissa! She's... she's a monster! Don't try to talk now. Melissa? Melissa. You mean the main actress? She's... wait... This is an actress. This is a woman. <laughs> in the last in the last playthrough, I actually like I gave her man's. So she's like, she's probably. <laughs> uh, oh no, she's probably got Suzanne too. You've got to stop her. <laughs> no, please wake up. Hang on. Hang in there. <laughs> it's just. I gave her like the deepest grisliest voice in the world and I didn't notice that and I was just like <laughs> uh. Okay So something I like about this game I talked about this in the previous uh, playthrough of this first we need to walk into this room because there's a clown in here Hey, mr. Clown ah Here take it take everything. It's all on the counter. Don't scare me. I'm with the NYPD. You're you're the one who scared me, late. Wait. <laughs> you're the one who scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. <laughs> you know, only staff are allowed in here. There was an incident here. You need to evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying in here tonight. See ya. She didn't even he doesn't even know what the incident was. He's just leaving. And then we get that comical uh, Wilhelm scream. We gotta go uh, investigate. But first, we gotta fight some more bad rats. Mm, all right. Oop. Oop. So yeah, that's their flame attack. Uh, it's pretty standard and very easy to dodge. You don't have to like worry too much about like ever like running into it. So as long as you stay away from its tail, you're fine. <laughs> But, you know, get within reasonable range so you can, like, uh, shoot it at point blank and get just crits all the time. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, one, like I was saying earlier, uh, one of my favorite things about this game is the way it mediates between being an RPG and being a horror survival game. So it takes a lot from, like, Resident Evil, but it also takes a lot from um, Final Fantasy. And so you get to see, like, it negotiate these two, like, aspects of its, like, identity as, like, a game and as a... I mean, as a... Fuck. As an RPG as and as a horror game. Um, and so you, like, feel a little bit of that control scheme, like... Or you feel that in both, right? Um, also, the real-time battle system... Hold on, let me do this real quick. It's that clown from the dressing room. All right. 
so I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the microphone because that like helps quite a bit um, you could probably barely hear me um, but yeah let's see here we're gonna go into the dressing room real quick or this dressing room I believe I can't remember whose this is um, so there's a body hanging over this telephone, so let's try to get it off of here. I better notify the, notify the department about what's happened here. So we're going to save our progress. All right, so we're going to save over my last save because I, uh, did that wrong. All right. And we're going to look in here, grab some more medicine, and we're going to play around with this body real quick. Ah! Okay, that's what she said. No! Go back in. Aya, go back in. Go back into the room. And pick up the keys. This body has a key on it. And we need the key so we can access all the other rooms in this area. Um, we can access every room now, except for this one right here, um, because it's still locked. But, we can go in here, we're going to unlock this door, and we get to see our next enemy in the game, uh, a parrot. Um, you know, as we've known from, like, all PlayStation games, uh, parrots are always, like, the best thing on the planet. You know, they, they, they aren't complete and total dicks. Um, you know, like the one in Metal Gear Solid. Sorry about that. All right. <clears throat> All right. So if we interact with the bird, it goes, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Goodbye. And we get this thing. I don't know what it is. But I don't like it, so I'm going to kill it. All right, so we get the medicine, and we'll end right here. Okay, so we can, let me see, can we get into any of the areas in the room? I think this door we can go into, and we get some ammunition, and I think that's about it. That's all that room is for, to introduce the next type of, uh, the next type of enemy in the game. So, we have two, and in this room, I believe this is Melissa's um, room, so we're going to check here real quick, we're going to go inside of her closet, and we're going to grab ammunition, and is there anything, no, I don't think there isn't, so we're going to read her diary real quick, real quick, uh, I apologize if my fatigue is going to like kick in and I'm gonna start like mispronouncing things and like tripping over my uh, words. A diary? November 3rd, Monday. Christm the Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has been, has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. Jesus fucking Christ, okay. I took all that medication to get here. I have to get to the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. November 7th, Monday. The cast was announced and Suzanne and I are, are double cast. I want, I want to play the part uh, alone, but everyone knows she's good. November 21st, uh, Friday. I think I'm overdoing it. My body's getting hotter than ever before for some reason. I better take more medication. Medicine. Shit. 
December 6th, Saturday. I collapsed the day. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die, I just want to get through this show. December 10th, Wednesday. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely get my take my part. I need to get better. I need to take a lot of medication tonight. December 11th, Thursday. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God forgive me. December 17th, Wednesday. It looks like I'll be the uh, I'll be the lead. Okay. I'd better take more medication and work it. December 23rd, Tuesday. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I'll have the solo concert next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well. I'd better shape up if I want to get through this. I'd better take more medication. For what? Why is she taking so much? Pro uh, so much? She must have a drug problem. Another key? And with that, we have the rehearsal key. Um, I'm not going to go through that door yet because I want to investigate the rest of this area. So we are going to go down this way. And the first thing we want to do is, let me see here, go through here. Can we get, yes, okay. Oh. Um, we are reaching the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to stop right here. Um, we will pick up in literally like a few seconds, but, um, well, for me, it's going to be a few seconds for you. I don't know how long it's going to be or long. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Um, this has been Doom Crab with Parasite Eve. Um, we'll see you on the next episode.